Well, you're supposed to hear it here first, but thanks, Kevin. Entertainment City, full of beauty today as we celebrate Hello's list of the most beautiful Canadians. But first, Janet Jackson has plenty to celebrate herself. Reports say the singer is expecting her first child at age 49. Here's Janet Jackson's brand new music video for her song, Damn Baby. And that song title is fueling reports that Jackson is pregnant. Multiple sources say the singer is expecting her first child with husband Wissam Almana. Jackson herself first sparked rumors when she announced last month that she was delaying her Unbreakable tour. My husband and I are planning our family. Reports say Jackson and Almana have been working with a fertility specialist. The couple tied the knot in 2012. Jackson turns 50 in two weeks. Let's move on to Hello's eighth annual list of Canada's most beautiful. Canada's 50 Most Beautiful is a fantastic opportunity to celebrate a whole load of Canadian talent all in one place. Obviously being genetically blessed doesn't hurt, but it's more than that. It's a celebration of people who are beautiful, not just on the outside, but on the inside too. This year we have a whole range of talent from actors and musicians to models and athletes. Not to mention a certain political couple who's captivating not just Canada, but the whole world. And what's a list of Canada's most beautiful without our homegrown Ryans, as in Gosling and Reynolds? Also making the list, my lovely and talented co-host, Tammy Kim. Woohoo! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I was flattered and honored and um, just really happy. And I somehow made the list too. Don't ask me how. It's not too bad. <laughs> He's pretty cute. It did get me wondering, though, how does Hello pick who makes it onto the list? We have a nomination process, and it's a very arduous task, as you can imagine, looking at, you know, all of those photographs of beautiful people. <laughs> Someone who is a no-brainer candidate for the list? Natalie Brown. Of course, Brown currently sports a far less glamorous look for her role on The Strain. A whole different kind of makeup application process. I was... Never a horror girl. I scare really easily. I would, so it was something I always steered away from, and now I'm basically fallen headfirst into it and loving it. Get ready for season three of The Strain airing on FX later this year, and catch up on seasons one and two on Show Me. But if you'd rather look at more pleasant things, check out the list of Canada's most beautiful people on the latest issue of Hello, a newsstand, and your texture by next issue app now. All eyes on Alberta as wildfires rage in the now abandoned Fort McMurray, a blaze that has been described as apocalyptic. A state of emergency has been declared as people are forced to flee, leaving everything behind. Their plight has caught the attention of several celebrities. Jan Arden tweeted that it was, quote, just horrible, sending my love to all my friends and family who work up there. Alberta natives Nickelback tweeted, our hearts are heavy with the events in Fort Mac. Today, we are hashtag Fort Mac strong. Please help if you can. Rogers is helping, offering free long distance calls and texting to Fort McMurray until May 17th. They've also donated $100,000 to the Red Cross, and you can donate $10 by texting Red Cross to 45678. I said you fell. I thought it was an accident. I thought I did too. Everyone is talking about the new episode of Empire, The Lion Who Cried Wolf. Who is this lady? Do I? Catch the newest episode now, only on Show Me. And as always, you can get your entertainment news here first in the morning at any time on Twitter as well, at NCity.